For America's poorest public school districts, hiring good teachers can be a difficult task, which is where a program called Teach for America comes in. And that's tonight's Sunday cover, the recruitment tool for struggling schools that's attracting record numbers of top college grads. Describe why a first impression is important. Teaching is a new experience for Jacob Dixon. Just last year, he was sitting in a classroom himself at Penn State University. Education has always been my passion. I either wanted to be that or a talk show host. But <laughs> through that, <laughs> That's um, interesting. Okay. yeah, you know, but I said to myself that I have my own classroom, my audience is my kids. Dixon is a newly minted teacher at a charter school in the Washington Heights section of New York City, courtesy of Teach for America. The nonprofit organization trains college graduates to teach in schools in poor areas across the country. What's been the biggest surprise? You have to be very adaptable. So I think that is one of the things that you have to learn as you go. Teach for America was founded 19 years ago by a Princeton graduate and has become the number one employer among graduates of prestigious schools such as Georgetown, Dartmouth, and Duke. So, along with the recent surge in applications, getting in can be as tough as applying to those elite schools. I loved writing the letter of intent. Sarah Pulett, a senior at Columbia University in New York, is applying to Teach for America this year, but she has some serious competition. I'm a little bit nervous. It's always been tough to get accepted to Teach for America, so but this year, as the economy tumbles and then employment that. rises, applications have gone up almost 30%. There are more than 35,000 candidates for approximately 4,000 positions. But critics argue even though these teachers are well-intentioned, constant turnover in these poor schools can be unhealthy for the students. David Stanley, a recruiter for Teach for America, doesn't see it that way. What if every senator, what if every leading lawyer, what if every corporate CEO in this country had spent even just two years teaching in a low-income community? Uh, imagine how differently we would think about, act on, invest on, and, and really legislate on this issue. We will ask Americans to serve. During this year's presidential campaign, then candidate Obama called on Americans, particularly young Americans, to serve a cause greater than themselves. Certainly Obama's talked a lot about this in the campaign, but I think also the realization that as a country we have these kinds of massive disparities going on, and that if it's not our generation to pick up this mantle uh, of civil rights, uh, who will it be? Part of Teach for America's appeal has been a chance for recent graduates to serve others. But many college seniors also see it as an elite credential for the next step in their careers. But at the end of the day, what do you hope to get out of this program? Um, I would hope that I would get the classroom experience to go into policy um, and stand shoulder to shoulder with elected officials. Two out of every three Teach for America alumni go on to pursue careers in the field of education.